All right, it is Friday, and you know what that means. It is time for the NPL Video Game Club. On this Friday, September 1st, it is the first of the month, as Bone Thugs and Harmony used to say. Hope you're having a good week, and hope you're having a good start to your week now. Again, on this Friday, September 1st, 72 degrees, sunny, according to my weather app. If, you're out, if you've been out and about, hopefully you enjoyed but yeah, happy to have you here for another week. Thank you, as always, your host here, Aldo. And thank you for coming on by. Hey, Pickler79, happy Friday to you. Dave D, hello to you as well. Hope you're having a good one. And uh, yeah, I know, got some things to catch up here with the game that I'm playing this week, which should not be a surprise to anyone. But uh, first and foremost, if you look, look at the description of the stream, you will see at the very top that vendor tables have uh, opened for my little shindig, which is called Algo 4. What is it? You may ask. Well, in all of its Sega Saturn esque glory, Algo 4, the gaming swap meet, which is exclusive to Norwalk, Connecticut, hosted by NPL. So it'll be Saturday, October 21st, from noon to 5 p.m. Over at NPL, over on 1 Belden Avenue. So it is not the South Norwalk branch, it is the main branch. And it'll be up in the auditorium. So again, Saturday, October 21st. And if you are interested in getting a vendor table, please click the link. It is at the very top of the description for this stream. Uh, Epic Glitch, I know you were looking to get a table. Uh, I actually released this out into the wild last night. I'd say sometime after midnight, because I never sleep. And uh, as of this morning, it uh, I think I was already at 14, 15 signups. So <laughs> I only have about 21 tables. So it's already filling up. So you already signed up? Nice, Epic Glitch. Nice, nice. So um, for anyone who has signed up in the coming weeks and leading up to Algo 4, leading up to October 21st, I will personally contact each of the vendors to make sure everything's cool. If additional spots do open up, I will be posting it on the uh, social medias and all of that. And, and in particular, I will post it on the official Algo Discord. So let me pull up the link for that to have that listed for you as well for your reference. Just one moment here. Of course, it would have been nice if I had it. But, you know, I'm never fully prepared because that's, that's on me. But uh, let me get a link for the Discord, which I will put in the chat right now. If you are interested in being appraised of anything, any updates regarding Algo itself, all you need to do is click on and join the official Discord. If you have any questions for me about the event itself, anything related to it, feel free to reach out to me, and I'd love to answer your questions. And yep, I just saw a bit glitches. Uh, he signed up today. Yeah, awesome. So you know what? I will actually give you a thumbs up right there, Sean. I should have an algo emoji. I really should. Uh, but I'm lazy. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. <laughs> but uh, bear with me. I will figure it out. Nonetheless, yeah, that is happening. First and foremost, at the library, we will be closed on Monday, September 4th, in observance of Labor Day. So for those of you who are, were maybe having some plans to stop by the library, just make sure we are closed both the main branch and South Norwalk branch. So uh, don't stop on by because we will be closed. Don't, we don't want you to waste a trip. But we will be resuming back on Tuesday, September 5th with business as usual. But nonetheless, for those of you observing the holiday, uh, please enjoy, relax, enjoy the family time and all that good stuff. But we will be back on Tuesday, September 5th. And lastly, the Seed Library is open over at NPL. So if you have a library card, all you need to do is stop on over to Studio One. Once you go to Studio One, you will see a display for the Seed Library. All you do is fill out a small form. From there, you have pretty much your open season picks of drawers and cabinets, which are full of seed packets, with things ranging from herbs, vegetables, spices, and things like that. And you're free to take it as you please. All we ask is that you limit your selection to one packet per variety, just to ensure that everyone gets their fair share. 
And the link I posted in the chat is the uh, the gardening page, which is kind of a HQ home base for those of you starting off your gardening adventure. And if you need some tips, tricks, uh, you know, some interviews and how to's to get your seed garden growing, then that is a good place to start. Again, this is a totally free resource here at the library, so please take advantage if you are a patron. And if you are not, sign up. All you need to do is go to the branch, fill out a uh, registration form to get a library card, and once you have that, you are eligible to get access to the seed library. All right, so what have I been playing? I've been playing this for quite a few weeks now. It's The Messengers. This game came out, ooh, I don't remember what year. I'd like to say 20... Uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm not gonna. I think it's 2015, 2018. I don't know. I could be wrong. But nonetheless, this uh, game has been quite a surprise. It's it's a mix of Ninja Gaiden platforming mixed in with Castlevania exploration, and it's actually quite funny. Which uh, I didn't know. <clears throat> excuse me, that the game was quite humorous. That was a, a pleasant surprise. So nonetheless, let me switch on over to the main screen here. There we go. And the chat is working. Look at that. First thing. That's amazing. All right. So let me get the messenger started and get this journey started here. We're not started, I should say. Continue. So last off, uh, I guess I've opened up the world map to where I can freely, this Metroidvania-esque thing, where I can freely explore. Uh, my whole issue... Our whole thing is to try to find um, these musical notes, which I need to find six, I believe. I found two thus far. And I guess the finding six will then bring me towards my eventual goal of saving the land from evil. So how far will I get today? I don't know. But thank you, those of you who are here. And uh, let's find out on this journey together, huh? All right, see how much progression I've made. I am 10 hours in, 10 hours, 24 minutes. I have 1,957 time shards, so I need to get 2,000, so I need to get, what, 53 to get the last upgrade, unless there are more upgrades. And I have 25 power seals, which I think there's 40 in total. I don't. I think I left off in the Tower of Time. No, Bamboo Creek. Okay. Um, okay, so now I have my map. Now, Bamboo Creek. I have... Let's see. Three out of three. So, one out of one. I want to see uh, power seals, how many I've got. Autumn Hills, 3 out of 4. Forlorn Temple, I haven't been to yet. Uh, at least in 16-bit. Catacombs, 1 out of 3. Howling Grotto, 3 out of 3. Quill Shroom Marsh, 3 out of 3. Searing Crags, 3 out of 3. Underworld, 1 out of 4. Glacial Peak, 3 out of 3. Cloud Ruins, 1 out of 4. Okay. Now, Searing Crags, there was something there. So the, I think that's the place where I fought the two ogres. And I ha I picked up a flower near them. And I think I need to go back to them in 8-bit so that I can give them that, that flower. Because they were waiting for it to grow, but then you skip over to the future and they're, they're just sitting there dead because they waited that whole time. Uh, so I think I need to find Searing Crags and go back. But in the meantime, uh, let's see here. That is Howling Grotto. Howling Grotto. Searing Crags. So I think I can go to Searing Crags. This is Howling Grotto, Howling Grotto. Um, oh, no. Go from Mars. So I want... Where am I right now? Bamboo Creek, right? Howling Grotto. This might be Forlorn Temple. Okay. So you know what? I think I'm going to go to Forlorn Temple and see where that leads me. So I need to go back to the left. Then go up. Okay.
Get him. Get him. I want to try to get uh, as many of these shards as I can. I want to go this way. Again, might as well get the shards while I'm at it. I've right, got a recovery there. Drop down. healing. Perfect. Run over. Right, that is a pit, so I don't want to do that. Um, so I want to climb up go to the left. Okay. I want to climb up. Take my way up here. See, notice, notice these uh, little guys. They only jump when I jump. So now I drop down, go to the left. Right, I can't go down. So I gotta go down the other way. This way, yep. Okay. Now these guys, you want to hit the uh, hearts. Get the hook. So I should be able to get the upgrade now. Demon's Bane, attack boost. By mastering patience and focus, you can wait to passively charge your next attack, making it deal triple damage. Yes. Buy all upgrades from the shop. So I got a uh, an achievement. All right. So there's that. see. Okay. So instead of, uh, gets them in one hit. Okay. So I want to keep going this way to get to the Forlorn Temple. Now I can go up or down. I want to go left. Can I go up there? I cannot. 
Okay. And look, there's a time shard. Uh, you know what? I couldn't go up there before, but now that I have this, I might be able to grapple. I might be able to grapple up there. Nope. Okay. So somehow I need to go... Maybe I can't go in. Maybe I need to go 16-bit and find a way through. That might be what I need to do. Uh, you know what? Let me try that. Okay. So I just want to follow the signs to these... Uh... Alright, so I don't want to jump with these guys. Down again. And then I could go down. You know what? There you go. Alright, so I could go up. Nothing. Okay. Now, normally these guys take three hits, but with the power shot, just one. Ah. Alright. One, two. Then I want to go down. Go down. that. Go down this way. Ah, time. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. 16-bit. Now, if I go 16-bit, maybe I can cut through. Um, not quite sure. I haven't been this way yet, so... Not sure what it'll bring. Now this is a power seal room I've been to before. Now if I go up this way... Hit him. Alright, can't do that, but I can grab this. Go up. Ah, look at that. Time shard. Alright. So this will bring me where? Here. Okay, so I can't go up. But at least I got the time shard, so there's that. Okay, so I think... And I don't want to go to the... Uh, you know what? I, I mean, I could go to the catacombs. But I kind of want to see Forlorn Temple, since I haven't been there yet. I mean, Underground is right there, though. I am missing power seals from the catacombs, so maybe, maybe I'll do the catacombs. Okay, so where do I need to go? I need to go left.
the catacombs will be right here. Which I haven't been to the catacombs in 16 bits, so this could work. What is this? Ruxton's final resting place. Looks like there was a note addressed to the messenger. Dear messenger. Oh, the guy I fought earlier. The uh, little guy. If you're reading this, it means what my research indicated is true, and you traveled 500 years into the future. I meant it when I said I was done being evil. I even planned for my relics to come to your aid. First is my amulet, yours to keep and remember me by. I also left my staff at the top of Glacial Peak. It will answer to you as long as you carry my amulet. Also, I did some digging around the catacombs, and I believe I found a secret entrance to a new area you should explore, though it was very dark. Look for the secret passage in the room with two bats and a moving platform. Two bats and a moving platform. Best of luck on your quest. Ruxton. You got Ruxton's amulet. It should activate the necromancer's staff. Now where is it? Okay. Buxton's final resting place. Looks like there is a note addressed to the messenger. Okay. Cool. Okay, so that's some progress. I can't go up. Can't go up here. Okay. So they're all they're telling me is that. Okay. Now where do I go? Jeez. Okay, well, I didn't see that coming. Alright, well. So yeah, it's funny, because when this was an 8-bit, you saw this in the, uh... All these uh, Grim Reaper-esque things, but it was just this guy you fought before. So it's not as bad as you thought. Okay, so that platform... out for that uh, that spinning goodness now I am all right so I want to go down Ooh, I almost got hit all right I don't want to touch that ground because I will die that is a pit but I can break through here Hey, thank you to anyone who's watching. Appreciate it. Has anyone, uh, if anyone's watching, has anyone played the messenger? This is my first playthrough, so I, I am learning as I go along. All right, so next room to the left, if I go up, there should be a power seal. Right up here. 
All right. There's spikes and water. All right. And then just keep swimming. All right, so this wasn't too bad. This was pretty easy. It's not a crazy thing. Got the power seal. All right. So then from here, I can uh, go back, cut through. There goes that. Pretty simple. All right, so there's another one if I go to the left and go up, so I want to do that. for the traps. Oh boy. Alright, hold on. I believe this, this tripped me up in the original one too. Alright. These skeletons, watch out for them. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to duck when I hit the platform so I don't get hit by the spikes. Go up. Knock him down. And he fell in the spikes. Got him. And you know what? There is a uh, a wall here. I see it that I can break through. Try to get the right height to uh, jump and slice. Oh, watch out. There we go. Break through. Alright, so I want to break through the other wall. Ah, see, there was a uh, thing in the on the left now. Okay, so I want to go up. I want to smash that wall. See, there wasn't a way to get through it before, so now there is. There's time. There you go. Now this opens up. I could switch back to 16-bit. Now, I think I have all three now. But then this will bring me up to Forlorn Temple, so I, I do want to do that. All right. At the checkpoint. Don't need to worry about him. Going through here. Oh, watch out. back. So I believe in 8-bit that uh, gives me an option to break through that wall. 16-bit, it doesn't. Uh, so I want to go down. And I guess I got to keep going down. Now 
Now, I don't want to switch over. I'm fine with 16-bit. Now, this is a pit, so you know what? I actually can't make it through. I need to switch to 8-bit to get past here. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So that should then open that path. Yep. That's okay. I can glide here. I still like that, that musical effect with, uh... Okay. So then I want to switch back to 16-bit. Because there may now be a way for me to, uh, cut through. Mobility is your best friend. Uh, so I go down, okay. close. Whoops. Alright, so there are traps galore here. Watch out for that. Go through here. What is up there? There might be a time shard. So if I reset, I might be able to uh, have those platforms respawn. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So I'll have to leave the room and come back. I want to go this way. Now I could cut through here. This is something else. This leads where? This leads... Uh, I don't know where. I don't know where it leads. This will bring me to, uh, okay. Kosher Marsh. Oh, Autumn Hills. I believe. Okay, so this, well, this is, I haven't been here yet, so it's still opening up a new area. I'll take it.
Okay, so that brings me to an area that was before. Okay. Light on through. Alright, well, at least I know this is an alternate path. Ah, uh, alright. Alright, well, at least, uh, at least I'm filling out the map, so there's that. Okay. Yeah, it's always nice to explore new parts of the map. So go around here. I don't want to fall because there's a pit. But I will die if I do that. Now, even though I may not have any upgrades yet, I still want to uh, collect as many time shards as I can. Alright, so here... I can... Uh, well, I could. You know what, I'm just curious to see what's over in that other direction. If I go up, I think it's a room with time shards. Nope. Okay. was worth a shot. Nice, and I can go up this way. I can't go this way. Oh, okay, so that is power sealed, but that's okay. I've already seen it. Okay, then I can go up. Can't cut through. All right. I need 19 seals, right? 18. Okay. So I need to do the time switch here. To go up this way. Now this will bring me to Forlorn Temple. Here's the switch where I can go up. All right, get rid of him. This could be... This is a power seal room. Or it could be a time shark room. Yep. Alright, cool. There goes that. Keep going.
I should make it to Forlorn Temple. Climb up the Forlorn Temple? Yes, I have not been there in 16 bits, so that would be new. Alright, this is new. This is new to me. Uh, so we're gonna climb up. Here's this guy. Hey, it's you again. Thanks for saving me earlier. I've been looking for my colleagues, Acro, Claustro, and Pyro. Acro and Pyro are still missing. I hope nothing bad happened to them. At this rate, the bridge will be repaired in 4,500 years. Oh boy. Alright, so each has a stand right here. I can't talk to him. Okay. Well, I wonder, what if I switch? Ah, this is the bridge. Okay. Oh, boy. And I messed up. Okay. Well, luckily, I could just go right back, so that's good. Yes, climb up. All right, I just wanted to see what that would do, but that obviously wasn't the right thing. I want to go this way and go into Forlorn Temple proper. Oh no, that just brings me to uh, back to Autumn Hills. Wait a minute. All right. I need to go to the catacombs because I haven't, I haven't uh, created that shortcut yet. Okay. So I can't go through any of this. So I think Forlorn Temple, the bridge needs to be built. I guess that's the uh, the idea. I see. It says I can go up. So you know what? what? If I go up here. All right. Now what if I said, nope, that's not gonna be enough. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, Forlorn Temple, nothing can be done with that right now. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. So, I guess I need to build the bridge first uh, to be able to get to this area. So, then... I guess I need to go to no catacombs is it's fine. But I need to find the route to the catacombs that shoots off into Autumn Hills. Because that's where that last power seal is. So I need to go. I guess I, I, guess I need to go back down. That brings me to the catacombs. Then Autumn Hills. So I think I need to take that route. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, you know what? What happens if I do that? What happens if I cross this way? Drop? Nope. Right, that'll bring me immediately down. Okay. Alright, so I want to go down to Autumn Hills. I think that's what I want to do. Attempt and see where that brings me. Okay. Let's say he's persistent. Okay, that leads to Power Seal, but I've already been there. Then the idea is to go this way. Wait for it to open up. Again, I was here before, but I guess, I don't know. I don't know where I would find the uh, power seal. a catacombs way. I don't know. Maybe there is a way to cut through and get to that without... I don't know what I was missing with that other power suit. Maybe it's a thing where you need to be 16-bit uh, only or 8-bit. I don't know. For example, I would need to go right. So just keep going. See if this will do it. Not quite sure. Hold on. 
Maybe, I don't know, maybe this is it. Yeah, I feel like this is what I need to get to the uh, area I need to get to. Yeah, nope. This is still not uh, not the ideal place. So I would need to come from here to get the uh, to turn into eight bit, which would then allow me to cut through. I guess I'm stuck in that regard. I don't really know how to approach that specific power skill. Um, it is what it is. I, I, there has to be some alternate exit. Autumn Hill. You know what? Catacombs. So I have to exit the catacombs in 8-bit. That's basically what it boils down to. I need to go back to the catacombs. That's basically it. Let me drop down to the catacombs. Bring me back here, but I want to drop back down and go to 8 bit. Okay, so then what exit can I take? Uh Autumn Hills. I guess that's what it is. I There's Catacombs, there's Forlorn Temple. There's no Autumn Hills, so I think that's what I need to do. I need to find the Autumn Hills exit in 8-bit. then go down to uh yeah i guess that's it a lot of backtracking but it is what it is i don't want to go up i want to stay down So from there, I want to go right. I guess I don't need to hit everything, but it's tempting. And then... 
I drop down and then to the left. Okay. Now you see, this brings me back to 16-bit. Hmm. Alright, I need to go back to 8-bit. I can't. There, there's no way to get past that. Alright. So I needed to do the complete, uh, the complete switch. All right. Hmm. One, right. Then over there is another switch. Huh. I need to get to eight bit by the time I'm down in that pathway there. Maybe I can go this way. Game music and your voice is making my tedious job of cleaning up Java on the servers much more relaxing. Is that so? Oh, you do Java? I didn't know you did programming, a big glitch. I used to touch Java. I used to play with Java once upon a time, but uh, yeah. Not fun. It's amazing how many things are still programmed with Java in mind. Okay, so hopefully I can find a 8-bit uh, portal. Alright, that's fine. Yep, I'll take that. Another health. One, two, three. Then drop down. Okay, there should be a portal coming up right here. Now the thing is, that will no longer let me... Um, I don't know, will it let me cut down? I don't know. Let me see. to have me go to the right, so I don't want to do that. Okay. Now, there may be a way for me to go up and still salvage this, hopefully. One. Okay, so this is looking good, but I gotta watch out with this. Alright, alright if I took the hit, okay. Okay, watch out for that. Okay. I got hit once, that's okay. Okay, so now this. Oh, okay. So the Autumn Hills, it's blocked in 8-bit. Oh, so I, I can't get to it. Oh. Not coding, but uninstalling and removing some artifacts from previous installs that did clean up, all while not making the applications crash. Ah, okay, okay. I got you. Alright, so this was not the route I wanted to take. Because this would be a power seal room.
But I already got the power seal, so I don't need it. So how do I get... Man, how do I get up there? Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I guess back to the uh, hour of time it is. Yeah, because the only way to go through room to room is the blue. The blue notches. That means it's a, a level up. How do I get to that? Oh, man. Alright, well. Tower of time it is. So you know what? I guess I can go to Searing Crags. Um, to give that instrument to those guys. But I can't go to these. So I suppose I should just go to Searing Crags. Alright, that's Quillshroom Marsh. Glacial Peak. question is, where are the big boys? Where are the boys with the, uh, with the, the guys that I fought, the ogres? Okay, over this way? Oh, there's this guy. Okay, he is uh, all alone. Oh boy. How do I uh, get him? He's stuck. I can't reach him. Oh. Well, I could try dying. And that's exactly what I did. Okay. So I can't go up there. Yeah, where, where are the ogre guys? That would be the question. Alright, so that connects to some other area. That's Underworld. Alright, this is going to bring me back down to... Bottom Hills. Hmm. Which then brings me to Howling Grotto. Searing Crags, Underworld. So I, I need to stay here in Searing Crags, is what I need to do. And find my way to the Underworld. I think that's the... Underworld in 16-bit, I think, would help. So... Okay, so then... How would I get to the Underworld? Is the question. 
That's Autumn Hills. So I, I just got to ride up. Really, all I can do. Yeah, even even if I. Even if I fall down, I wouldn't be able to get to the area that I want to on the right, because that would be blocked. Um, hey, Lala. You must be really bored if you're watching this. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right, so I need to... You know what? I think I want to go left, because there's that, that hidden path. So that means it's an area I haven't explored yet. So I want to go this way, go here, get him. All right, so then go down. If I am in 16-bit, I should be able to do this. Oops. All right. Watch out for the stalagmites. So what I could do, I can climb up here. You see, that's blocked. Okay, so I can't get up there, but I've already got that power seal. So what I want to do is I want to drop down. And, all right, so I'm going to drop down, go to the left. down this way. I want to make my way up to get to that corner there. Now, unfortunately, going up this way, it's uh, there's nothing there for me to climb up. So I would need to find uh, an 8-bit trigger, which would then allow me to go up, I guess. Uh, so I need to go down to the left, find that sparkle room, and then make my way back. I guess that's the only way to go about this. Annoying as it is. Because, um, yeah, this wall won't let me climb it. I just, I just want to drop down. Drop down to the bottom. Now, 
where would there be a switch? There would be a switch to the left. I want to go that way. So then I want to make my way back up. Hopefully I can. my way back up hopefully I can get to uh, where I want to be looks similar enough for now Okay, so now I want to go up. The thing is, when you when you switch uh, eras, the layout of the map changes too. So. Not sure what this will bring. That brings that, but I can also go up here. This might be what I'm looking for. here. Still no dice to go up here. Even an 8-bit, so it's it's immediately up, but there's nowhere for me to grab. Yeah, I get height. Like I can't even grab on to anything. Yeah, nothing. That's two dead ends. Uh, I mean, that's obviously somewhere I need to go. But it doesn't work. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. So I think at this point, the best thing I need to do is find a merchant and then just find out where the next music note is. I think that's the way to go. I've exhausted every possible option here, and it doesn't seem to be working my way, so. Pinch. Okay. Ninja Village. Ninja Village. Okay. I need to go to Ninja Village. Okay, so... So now I need to go back to the Tower of Time. And then go back to Autumn Hills, which I think will bring me back to Ninja Village. Right? Yes. Okay.
All right. So the very beginning of the game is where I needed to go. So to get to Ninja Village, I need to go all the way to the left. Again, uh, get rid of him. Switch over to eight bit. That's okay. these fireballs. Okay, go up. And now, okay, so now what I want to do, I want to go left. Left is where I want to go. Henry, what's up? This game is more backtracking than a corn maze. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. You could say that. But it's okay. I'm okay with the backtracking. Probably doesn't make for an engaging stream, but I've made it this far. I might as well uh, see it to the end. You know? Again, I'm not. I'm not trying to look anything up. Just uh, intuition and all that jazz. See where it takes me. You're probably going to be playing this game into October. <laughs> well, if that is it, then so be it. As long as a game is engaging to me, I, th I think it's fine. Uh, Alright, so I want to go this way. And now this will bring me to Ninja Village. Speaking of Corn Maze, the one near me is going to be Mario themed this year. Nice! I'm sure not endorsed by Nintendo at all. Okay, so here it is. The note is around here somewhere. Our champion returns. How is adventure treating you? A little bit harder than I thought, but the music is amazing. Rax, what's up, man? I've been here for about an hour. I was just eating. Hey, it's all good. What you eating, man? You left too soon. I should have taught you the power of true sight. True sight? It is a technique seldom taught to young students such as yourself. Unless the mind can be expanded, that is. How can I expand my mind? A warm cup of astral tea will do that. I think I have that, actually. Fortunately, we ran out of astral leaves a few years ago. All we have is a single seed, but fully growing it would take centuries. Give me the seed. I'll see what I can do. I was hoping you would say that. You got the astral seed. Now to find a flower bed and wait a few centuries. You have the seed, but it would take centuries for it to grow. Only with a dose of astral tea will your mind be prepared for the power of true sight. Okay. Eating shawarma. All right, nice. 
Good stuff. I think uh, we had that one time, right? Didn't we uh, have shawarma together? I believe so. He brought me to a spot. Long ago, long ago. But yeah, I think I think he brought me to a shawarma spot. Okay, so the astral seat. So that, I think, goes where the ogres were with the big pot. That's in Searing Cracks. Maybe. I love me some shawarma. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure you brought me to a spot near you. Um, okay, so I guess I need to go back now. Find, uh, which I think is where uh, I need to be. So, I need to go back to the Temple of Time. And then from there, I guess find somewhere in the Searing Crags where those big ogres were. So I want to go back to Searing Crag, or I want to go back to Searing Crags, yeah. Can't even talk to them anymore. Okay. Hour of Time, which is always in 16-bit. That's interesting. Um, in front of a beautiful sunset, hungry botanists were too patient for their own good. Yeah, so this is the two ogres. The two ogres. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to go in here, get the other hints. To tell me, because instead of just looking, I could just have them pointed to me on a map where I need to go for those two guys with the pot. I know it's in Searing Cracks, I just don't recall where. Can you believe this guy? For 300 time charge, I can use the scrying orb and point it on your map. Yes, please. Okay. It's Searing Crags, so it's all the way up top. Okay. Alright, so I want to go to... Uh, where would I go? Oh, Searing Crags. Alright, so that'll be over here. Again, I was right. I knew it was Searing Crags. I just didn't know where in Searing Crags. Okay. So I want to go all the way up. I want to ride that. Just get all the time shards I can get while I'm here, you know? Alright, so I want to climb up. Ooh, he hit me. Okay. Okay. So I want to make my way up. This is right here. And I plant the seed, but first I want to talk to them and see what's going on. Hey, it's the little guy again. What is up? I have your power thistle. Oh, uh huh? Hey, he's not kidding, Kolos. Oh, Rax has had to have been Layla's or Abby's. I don't recall the name. It was years ago, though, bro. I, I don't remember. Which is technically the same place. They just changed the name from Layla's to Abby's. Okay. But I remember you brought me... It must have been when we were working uh, Game Exchange. And you, um, you brought me there. And it was really good. Because I remember being something totally different. I've never had it. It must have been that. I'm 
pretty sure. So I see, Susis. Never mind how you pulled this off, little guy. Throw it into the stew. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Carlos? Oh, this is where it gets serious, Susis. Colossuses, get it? It's chugging time. I'm satiated, Susis. I'm content, Coloss. Shall we test how strong it made us, Susis? It's all I crave, Carlos. Don't move, little guy. I should have planted the, uh, the thing before. Well, now I need some sleep, Susis. I reckon, Carlos. Thanks for everything, little guy. Where is that bringing me? A new area. Right? Ah, this is the place I couldn't get to before. Look at that. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. So now, this brings me to another shortcut. Okay, this is a new area, so that's good. Now, these guys only jump when you do. See, I, I can go down, but I, I can't, actually. I need to go this way, which would then bring me back up. Okay, this is where I was before. Alright. So it's just a, a, a way of going up, which is then going down. And I gotta go around to, to go full circle. To break this is only an 8-bit. Okay. And I died. That was on me. That was on me. Alright, try that again. So basically, I've got to do this twice to unlock the 8-bit part. But it's making me go roundabout. Clever, clever. Oh my word, again. Wow. The bird throws me off. That's what it's doing. Alright. What? I, I hit you. Come on.
I either could bypass all that. Go up. Alright, boost one more time. Okay. Which then brings me here. And there's the music note. There you go. And this will bring me down to that part I couldn't get to. We got the key of strength. Forced into being by Kalas and Sousa's physical feats. It is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. All right. So then I drop down here. There goes that. Okay, so. I'm going to go back to the Tower of Time. Speak to the priest to get the next hint. What should I do next? Ahem. Where the wind chills the bones, an old enemy has been waiting against its will to help the messenger with the blue dragon. Well, that's in the glacial peak. Alright, so... But what I want to do first is I want to go back to Searing Crags. And I want to go back and ride up here. So I want to plant that seed where those guys were. Which I need to go up memory serves correct. take a long time for anything to grow in there. Okay, so I want to go back to 8-bit. Which I guess I should have done before. That's on me. Where is the... Okay, there it is. Wondering where it was. Alright, so now I need to go back up again. What? Okay, so. Now they're back. Excuse me. What's up, little guy? Can I use a corner of your flower bed? I have a seed to plant. I don't see why not. Concerns Kalas. Nixus. Be our guest, little guy. Alright, cool. It will take a long time for anything to grow in there. Okay. Hey little guy, want to see our new strength again? Nope. Okay, so I need to go back. Basically, I just need to switch time periods again. Basically what, what it boils down to. Um... Okay. I think the quickest way to do this is to just go back to the Tower of Time and then go from the beginning. 
and uh, let's see. And the wind chills the bones and old enemy. Uh, yep, so this would be the dragon. Alright, cool. I know who I need to see, I just don't know where. Alright, so I need to go back. Searing crags. Then go right. Ride the wave. Ride the current, I should say. Actually, you know what? It should be 16 bit. I'm sorry. has grown. You got the astral tea leaves. The ninja elders should know what to do with these. Okay. So time to go back to the ninja village. Let's back to the Tower of Time. Then back to Autumn Hills. And I'm starting to make sense of it. So autumn hills. Then I need to go all the way back to the left. Okay. So then I just want to go to the left. That's basically what I want to do. Uh, there will be a place to switch. Alright. I'm going to keep going left. That's my, uh, my mission here. checkpoints along the way. Make sure I get as many time shards as I can along the way. Switch to 8 bits. Which I need, because I need to go back to the Elder, so that's okay. Switch on over. Can I outrun the Fireball? I think I can. Again, if I, if I go through this in 16-bit, that's okay, because the uh, Ninja Village has a time warp, so I can do that there without a problem. Ninja Village is right here. Alright, cool. Welcome, young adventurer. Greetings, Elder. I got the tea leaves. 
An impressive feat, it would seem you have mastered time itself. Ah, to taste Astro Tea once again. You have brought an old man great joy. Thank you and farewell, brave messenger. Yes. You were supposed to use the tea to expand my mind and grant me the power of true sight. Ah, yes, the power of true sight. Apologies, as it ages, the mind tends to err indeed. Here's a candle for you. You got the power of true sight. Or, in other words, an ordinary wax candle. Thank you once again for the astral tea. I hope you put the legendary power of the wax candle to your use. Okay. Well, there goes that. These fetch quests, man. Alright, so then that is back to the Tower of Time. Once you get more used to the controls, it's not as bad. Oh, I want to drop down, yes. Okay. Oh, yes, okay. So, I can go here. So that is Glacial Peak, is where I want to go. Um... The Glacial Peak would actually be right here. Um, I guess at this point, I can't really do anything in terms of uh, finding routes. I guess the game is just going to force me to follow these notes, which would then lead up to other openings. I guess that's the way it works. Um, I would like to get Power Seals in the Underworld. Cloud Ruins I'd like to go back to, but it would seem that's not the case. Forlorn Temple I don't have. Okay, Glacial Peak is right here. Now I go up. Okay. And then I can't do anything over here, it's just the pit. I'm assuming the dragon maybe brings me over through all that. There's the dragon. That's okay, I just gotta keep working my way down. Now there's a searing crags down there, but I've already done searing crags, I need underworld. So maybe he'll bring me somewhere I need to be, I, I don't know. As I glide down, I should be okay. Okay. I just gotta keep working my way down. Okay.
Yep, see that's a death pit. I don't want to do that. I want to go down. But I, I want to go down. Go down is where I want to go. down this way. Ooh. Almost hit the spikes. All right. Down. All right, this is where the Medusa heads start coming in. Yep. And I died. All right. Luckily, there was a save point right there. Jeez. And I died. Alright, the only way to win that is to, uh, you gotta ride a Medusa. And then grab on. This is, this is not good. Getting there is, uh, you have to time it right with the Medusa heads. And again, I'm saying Medusa heads because they're literally Medusa heads from Castlevania. All right, so I want to shoot that at him. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, I'm getting sloppy now. Um, heal, yes. Projectile. Now, as to how to get this, I mean, I could. I guess grab onto the stalagmites is the ideal way to do this. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the dragon here. But I do want to go down, so... So, hold on. Okay. 
Okay. There he is. So how do I... I already spoke with him though, so what do I do? Do I need to go 8-bit to, to talk to him? I don't think I can. There's something about that shard there, but nope. I don't know, do I, I don't think I can get there if it's 8-bit. Oh, let me see. Maybe I have to free him in the, uh, in the past, I guess, to save his present. I see, there he is. How do I get to that, uh, how do I save him? It's something, I, something I have to thaw, but I don't really understand. So maybe it's something where I need to drop down from a height and break something, or I have no idea. No. See, th those, these platforms are pits, and they will kill me. But I can't go down there. Understand. Hmm. What do I need to do? Oh, well, wait a minute, it's telling me to go up here. So maybe I need to go up this way in 8 bit, I guess, is the idea. Alright. Maybe I'll try that. Okay. I mean, at this point, it doesn't hurt to try. Alright. Let me see where it leads. I need to go here. And then go up. Get the heal, so that's good. At this point, yeah, just see where it leads. Maybe going up there in 16 bit wasn't good. So. Oh, 
Alright, so... Going up. Now do we go left? Yes. Alright. This way. All right. There's Medusa heads, right? Yep. Hopefully this is the way to go. I hope I'm not wasting my time going up for nothing. He's hoping not. See, it's, it's telling me there's something right down there. to go down all that for nothing. Why is it here, though? Oh. I'm going to have to climb this all the same now. I'm going to do it one more time. I guess I have to do it in 16-bit? I'm not, not sure. Okay. You see, this is... This is where I need to be. <laughs> and I don't... I don't really understand. Where the wind chills the bones. Do I have to, uh, drop from here? Is that what I need to do? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hey, you're Ruxton Staff. Oh, yes. Here it is. Wow, you took your sweet time, didn't you? 500 years. Do you have any idea how cold it is up here? Well, I... I'll leave you here. The messenger will need you in the future, he said. 15 minutes in, I was already cold and bored. Had I known it would take you centuries to show up, I... I... Actually, I'm kind of helpless. How are you supposed to help me? I'm not interested in wielding a necromancer weapon. I don't know. Roxton got obsessed with the Blue Robes history. He said something about how a tower he used to get to the clouds wouldn't be here anymore. So my epic contribution after waiting for centuries in the cold is, apparently, simply to beam you up and down as you please. The cloud ruins? Yeah, that's sure to come in handy. Can we go now? really think I'd be sitting here if I could teleport? Only you can activate my magic. For that, you need Ruxton's amulet. I'm sensing Ruxton's power. He must be holding the amulet. You want to teleport to the Cloud Ruins? I'd love to get out of this cold. Sure. I haven't been there in, uh... I can go there in 8-bit now. Hey, it worked. I'll be here if you need to go back. Turned around. Whoa, the view is insane. Why couldn't Ruxton leave me here instead? 
I'll never get tired of this view. You don't want to go back to Glacial Peak, do you? Alright, so. There'll be a way to switch this to 8-bit. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I can either go... Oh, these ladies. Sirens. Okay, so there's that. I forgot, these sirens are uh, the enemies in this uh, level. Okay. Is there a hint? I don't think so, because it's going to be... Nope. But now there are power seals that I haven't done. So it's one, two, and there should be three. Yep. Alright, that's a pit. Don't want to touch that. We'll watch out. Okay. We gotta time this. Didn't time it right. That's okay. So I want to time that, that way. Grab the sirens. Go up. Watch out for the smashing wall. Okay, so... could go down, but I don't want to go back to 16-bit. Well, this would be... No, I don't. But you know what? There could be a time shard there. So it might be in my interest to go down. There are. Yep. Perfect. All right. can't cut through. Okay. So I've got to go back and do it. Here, I'll be able to go back to 8-bit, apparently. If I go down. Okay. Make sure you deal with the sirens first. That way they don't get in your way. There you go.
Okay. One, two, three, four. You know, just wait for them to come to you. There's no reason to rush. Just wait for the shards to come to me. I think I might start up Blasphemous today. This is making me want a 2D side scroller. Yeah, Blasphemous. Which one is that? I am running blanks on that one. Alright, so. I can go up. I want to go up because the power seal is what I want. So I want to go up. And. Up, 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 and up I go. So I want to glide that cut through and this has got to be the power seal room yep all right these girls can cut through walls oh okay so i'm supposed to fall down use them as platforms climb up And I, that didn't work. Okay, so I'm supposed to use them to, to bridge the gap to uh, get through. Luckily, there's a checkpoint right there. So, whoop. All right, so this is going to be tricky. Uh, this is... Oh. So it would be drop, hit, jump over, grapple, jump over, but would she, the other one, reach me in time? Nope. Close enough, though. That's the idea. Okay. Like so. All right. There you go. That was tricky. That was tricky. Yeah, we can chat about that one later. It's like Castlevania meets Bloodborne. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Now that you mention it, yeah, that was a really bloody one, right? That was a really bloody game. I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a video of it. Um, you're kind of like this knight, right? With uh, a big staff. You look like a Knight's Templar or something. It's got like this crazy 2D style to it. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, yeah. Now now that you mentioned it, it reminded me of it, yeah. I have it, but I haven't started it in one try. Yeah. It just it just looked really gory. So it's unfortunately a game I can't play on here. All right, so you know what? I, I got I got the power seal. So it's 618, so I'm going to move to this next room, get the uh, checkpoint, and I think that'll be it for me for tonight. Because as much as I would love to continue playing, can't play forever. Just by, just by, it, just, it didn't click with me at first when you said it, but then when you mentioned Castle of Enemies Bloodborne, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I, I've seen a video. Ooh, wait a minute. Power Seal's right there. Um, you know what? Let me save. And... Oh, I'm tempted. You know what? All right, let, let me go for it. That'll be my last thing. I'll get this last Power Seal, if I can get it. Might be a thing where I need to switch. over. Whoops. And there's two. I'll get rid of one at least. 
All right, so there's a saw blade. All right, cool. Taking my way here. So that wall, I can't go through. Oof. All right. Give me a break here. Oof, close. All right. go. What about timing? Timing. Alright. Grapple. Switch on over. That'll bring me there. So then I would have to go up, switch back, go down, Power seal. Got smushed right there. Now how do I get down? Is the question. Then here I've got a glide. Lucky. All right, so. This would be the power seal room. Wow, all right. I somehow survived that. I did it. So I needed to just go. It's one continuous movement. I see. Oh, I didn't die. There's that. Okay, so. power seal so there's that so that would mean there's one more that'll be done I'm good I'm good for now so I've got the checkpoint so I want to back that'll be it for me tonight already already at 624 so it's going past but um oh you know what the chat did not update I'm sorry I did not take a look at that that stinks Sorry about that. Um, it, I'm, I'm looking at it on my phone, so I didn't see that it wasn't updating on the actual screen. That is uh, my fault. My apologies on that. But let me give a thank you to everyone who popped in today. Apiclitch79, Dave D, thank you so much. Linda, of course, thank you. Henry, thank you for stopping by. Rax, my man, thank you for coming on by. Appreciate it. 
Um, so yeah, you guys have a good weekend, and I, you know, hopefully we'll see you next week. We'll see what happens. Um, my quest with the messenger continues. You know, I, I don't know how far this is at all. Uh, I, was it four music notes out of six, I believe? So there's two more, and we'll see where this leads. You know, but uh, as a reminder, let me give you just this. I'll go four. So if you look at the very top of the description here for the stream, uh, I do have the link for vendor tables. And I've actually been getting pings throughout this stream about people signing up. So it's possible. I don't know how many slots are left. I haven't been able to look at it. But I know as of the time of this stream, when it, before it started, I had 14 signups out of 21 already in less than 24 hours. So that's, that's pretty cool. So. That, that's cool. Hopefully it fills up. We shall see. But again, if you're in the Fairfield County area, it'll be Saturday, October 21st from 12 to 5 p.m. over at NPL. They're located at 1 Belden Avenue, Norwalk, Connecticut. And I hope to see you there. It's a free event. It's just a bunch of people selling video games and action figures and memorabilia and things that are a gamer would find cool. So it's a swap meet. I hope to have you there. And yeah, I will see you here hopefully next week. Let me just switch this on over. On behalf of everyone at NPL, thank you so much for your continued support for the NPL Video Game Club. We really do appreciate it. We're here Fridays from 4 to 6 p.m. right here on the NPL YouTube channel. Have a fantastic holiday weekend. And reminder, we are closed. The library is closed on Monday. For Labor Day. So we will be back open on Tuesday, September 5th. Alright, so until then, take care, be kind to one another. You never know, a little bit of kindness can go such a long way to change someone for respect and end of the day. And wield that power, wield it well. Alright, so take care, everyone. Be safe, be kind, and I will see you right here next week on the NPL Video Game Club. Take care, everybody.